Hello again everyone, my name is Dog, and welcome to another episode of Imperator Rome. Unfortunately, I had a problem with one of my recording software and it didn't record properly and corrupted. So I am missing a few years of gameplay here. Basically what happened was I managed to push back the barbarians, uh, pieced out for any land uh, south of the river we want. And I threatened war to take Albacentia's small chunk of land here uh, and failed, so they actually went to war with me. I'm also going to attack Caviar, who are very fortuitously allied with Frace, so we're going to be going after Frace as well. Which means I can avoid. Oh, shit. Uh, I can avoid war with Egypt and the Seleucids. If I do that, I think then uh, Dindaria might be on the cards at some point. Holy shit, Rome. Hmm. Interesting. The Greek Stratos is disloyal. Well, that's not going to happen. Let's change you out for someone a bit more loyal then. Even if you are a worse general. Let's gear up for war here. I think I'm going to have to hire a mercenary group for this next war. Also, I'm going to get rid of all these forts, because there's no way I need this many. Like one or two is fine. But the amount that were there were just too many. And let's go have a look at our cities. Well, this has been a mistake for you, Frace. Uh, I'm going to hire a rather large mil uh, mercenary group, and I'm just going to use them to defend borders, I think. Same with you. Uh, they hired a mercenary group and they're sending it to Thracian lands, which is fairly interesting. succeed not quite uh, we're gonna go for another global food modifier I actually chose to go down that route uh, and that's the food modifier because a few of our settlements were struggling a bit Bring you over here. It's 
So Frace doesn't have any more land in the south. More techs. Let's go to the Logistics Bureau. I would love to get some more Papyrus into our capital, but I don't think it's going to happen. We are going to go for the Heavy Cavalry Discipline, though. And I'll go for Weather. groups destroyed here. So again, I just want everything south of the river here. Well, I am probably going to try and ransack as many of our lands up here. As we can. Try and storm that fort. Yeah, that works. Storm the fort. of November 624, so like one more month. I'm not going to accept the Thracian Revolt's terms just yet. We'll just take this for now. Or would it be better, be better for going like this? That's a little bit better. And now we disband the mercenaries. Going on library, yes, please. Now, Egypt. So, 
So you don't have a Ptolemy on the throne, and the Seleucids do, on the other hand. They do have a Seleucus on the throne. That being said, I think they've actually lost a bit of land at one point. I'm surprised Persis hasn't been integrated yet. Any more Legion expansions? Uh, yeah, there's a fair few actually. Let's take two more K of Horsemen. And one more unit of Spearmen. You can just take some extra Heavy Cav. So if I say horsemen, I just mean heavy cavalry at this point. Uh, you can also have some more heavy cav. Uh, we're going to build a road all the way down to Sparta here. I'm going to build a road from Byzantium over to Pella. And then finally we're going to build a road from Abora over to Apollona Epidam. Well, no. Epidamnus. I need to be able to actually go to. Oh, we've got a breakthrough. Excellent. We're going to go movement of water, river barges. Uh, I need to be able to move my troops quickly. So, this will be a good way to do that with roads. Okay, they're getting expensive, these roads. Let's strong arm a bit of cash. I'm actually going to raise taxes as well. Normally I wouldn't, I'd go for the stability, but this time around I'm going to go for the taxes. Plus, it is just fun to build roads everywhere. A new civic advisor. Uh, you'll do nicely. And we'll take a bit of urban wear this time around, I think. I need two earthenware to get the National Freeman output, which is not cheap. If I don't expand anywhere now, it uh, means war with one of the major players in the area.
wise, I should go check the wars actually. Is there anything I do want to pass? Infrastructure policy for the additional pop growth. Yeah, let's go for that. We can afford a bit less income. And the additional pop growth will be nice. Do 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 uh, I might be recruiting five random cohorts. Normally I would, but I like the ones I already have. And it'll mess up the uh, composition. That should be enough roads for now. Although having said that, there's still a few roads I could build in our, our capital region. Yeah, we'll get a foundry and deal. for here gemstones uh, let's go for some precious metals long term I'll get a second precious metals and that will allow me to uh, that will allow me to have national citizen happiness which will be useful I'm going to donate 350 gold, maybe. But I'm going to... Mm, I can't cut military supplies, really. Ooh, liturgies. That'll be useful. And there we go. Second... Precious metals employed. We'll thank the Oracle for her good news. I don't think the celebration. Well, I actually don't know if the celebration does anything. You're paying a bunch of gold though for nothing if it doesn't. Harvest was so plentiful this year, we have run out of room to store the wheat. Granaries who built their spot are packed to bursting. Simply no room left. Cool. The five stability is very useful. The ten gold, maybe not so much. That's a shame, the road actually destroys everything in Sparta. But, okay, it doesn't destroy the city itself, but it looks like it's been destroyed. Let's go for the additional food modifier again. I do have another military tradition. Get a few of these at the minute. I'm gonna go for the Hipparchus. Heavy cavalry and light cavalry defense. We don't have light cavalry, so it's just the heavy cavalry. 
Uh, I can get another three cohorts. More spearmen, I think. Kaya gets maritime influx for 60 months. Yeah, I'd rather have the pop growth. I'm going to keep using the political influence, upgrade our capital. Now, can I attack Macedon? Not really. Could go to war with Rome. Well, that's also probably not the best idea at this point. How big's the Roman fleet? 165 ships. Considerably bigger than ours is now. Continue expanding the fleet, man. I'm assuming Egypt is pretty big as well. Yeah, 176. And they're only two mil techs behind us, so they are a dangerous opponent if they, we end up at war with them. I think I'll probably end up taking Taporia here. of aqueducts down in our capital. I'm actually going to go with pedagogy. I don't normally, but I've got some quite big cities at this point that would benefit from it. Trade routes. Uh, let's go for some dyes. Uh, supply limit local sits and output. We'll go for the additional sits and output. I'm not losing. Yeah, it's not worth it in my eyes. Uh, the crop researcher is rough uh, at this stage in the game. When you've got a lot of research coming in. Fortune. Sure. I'm going to strong arm the characters. Our stability will take a hit, but still worthwhile. Right, once again, the Asian levy can be expanded. I think it's time we add another supply train in. So our military is pretty strong at this point. Still think think we stick with harassment here. I 
harassment as a tactic for our navy. The uh, reasoning behind that is it's just easy to make Liburnians and Triremes, uh, well, Triremes. I don't know how they'd be pronounced. Oops. Okay, we're running into that a fair bit at this point. I need to be careful. That's another event we've had where our stability has dropped because of the debt. Well, I know for certain I'm not going to be doing Alexander's... Uh... Oh, the Roman Empire spawned. I'm... This is my autism. I can't focus on one train of thought and I get mixed between two. You may notice that a lot in my videos. So, first train of thought is I'm not going to be able to recreate Alexander's Empire at this stage. There's, there's just no chance that I can conquer all of this in that time. Plus, I didn't really want to anyway. I've already expanded further than I was wanting to um, over the course of this campaign. And my second train of thought is the Roman Empire is now a thing. Which is intriguing. Haven't seen them expand in the last 10, 15 years or so. And they're currently dealing with a major revolt. Well, minor revolt, really. They'll probably crush that pretty quickly. So I think I'm going to gather my legions. And we're going to have a go at Seleucids again. Well, this will be a much quicker and easier war. Right, all ports in Ionia have city status. This one doesn't. So let's make you into a city. And then I'm going to need to put forts down there. That's fine. Uh, I need mines in three areas. Uh, that's not a mine. One, two, and three. So we'll do that. Then Lacedonian settlement. I need a marketplace in Halaganassus. Which is easy enough to do. Uh, out of interest. So I need 600 territories. Currently at 376 if I want to make Imperial Sparta. I want to deify the Spartan Emperor. That's going to be a bit more difficult. Because in order to do so, I need to pass divinity statutes. 70 stability is decently difficult. 95 popularity and 95 legitimacy is relatively easy. But 8 zeal on your leader is extremely difficult. So I just have to wait and see what our next leaders are going to be like. Five, two. Yeah. Not really seeing much chance at the minute. I think we'll go with there's no other traditions I can get at the minute really uh, we'll go Phoenician sailors improve our navies do 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 do
Where's Tapuria? Wait, what? How has that happened? <laughs> Alright, I guess we get our legions and go do crazy things in Seleucid lands. Oh, this is going to be rough. The reason it's going to be rough is they're going to be able to send absolutely everything against me. But we'll make the most of it, see what we can do. We have 48,000 men in three legions. A higher mercenary group as well. So 67,000 men against an empire. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. However, I'm gonna leave it as a little bit of a cliffhanger. Because that's gonna be the end for this episode. Once again, everyone, thank you very, very much for watching this series of Imperator Rome. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.